Tosiki Mani Pakiau Pakiau Judges Council of Ferdi Australia Ver Abainza Rudy Perez Referee Ver Abainza Eight rounds of professional boxing Eight rounds of professional boxing between two very very promising fighters Manny Pacquiao unbeaten. I've seen him fight before on blow by blow. He can be a little cocky, but he's a really good fighter. And he's a very exciting fighter. Mendonez. Edward like Mendonez is a very experienced oh, boxer. Yes. Um, now that he's fighting an eighth round, this is going to be a big test for Pacquiao. Pacquiao, of course, is undefeated, as you mentioned. Edward si Mendonez already has fought 19 fights compared to only seven for Pacquiao. So I'm not sure if uh, Pacquiao is ready for someone yes. as experienced as Mendonez. Mendonez is just coming out a world title fight back in uh, in August of this year in Bangkok. He lost to Noon Ju and he borrowed the ties and he got the tie shots. Yes, that's right. He did fight in Thailand. He lost, however, to uh, Noon Ju Sakcharuporn by a fourth round knockout for the IBO, International Boxing Organization, mini flyweight championship, but he came right back to score a decision over Christopher Sagid, the younger brother of Chris Sagid. You and know, Jose Mendones. Pacquiao, I'm a little wor worried about Pacquiao. He's a great fighter, he's a great young boy. He's, I think, 17 or 18 years old, but he may be overmatched in this fight, I don't know. Well, that's what we were saying, just looking at the records, because Mendones, as we said, Looks a lot more experienced than Pacquiao, but both of them are 18 years old. So both are teenagers. Good left by Mendonez. Short, clipping right hand by Pacquiao. Mendonez got caught with the left and the right by Pacquiao, but he's... Now right now in the end fighting, Mendonez throwing a lot more leather the than with, uh, Pacquiao. The trouble with Pacquiao is, as I said, he's a little too cocky, uh, Kinito, for his own good. And that, you know, it's nice to be confident and so on, but... When you fight an experienced fighter like Mendonez, you better watch out. Yeah. And Mendonez, of course, has the former fighter Cecil Escobedo mm -hmm. in his corner. Escobedo from Angeles uh, City has fought some of the world's best. Frankie Duarte, Albert Davila uh, spent two years of his ring career back in the 70s fighting out of Los Angeles and Hawaii. And he is now working as a trainer in the late Gregor Garcia's stable. Oh, good combination by Mendonez. Pacquiao covers up. He knows he's in a fight. Yes. I mean, seven wins and uh, no, no loss. losses. Undefeated. Tonight he knows this could be his first defeat against Mendonez. Pacquiao has got to fight intelligent. He can't take chances. A good flurry of punches by Pacquiao. Mendonez. Mendonez. Oh, good combination by Pacquiao. But he's fighting a little wild against yes. Mendonez. Mendonez is a little more methodical. Well, Mendonez is standing his ground. And you notice that he throws punches from many different angles. The Martin next oh, yes, by he got Pacquiao. clipped. Pacquiao clipped Mendonez, and Mendonez almost went down. Could be a cut, no? No. For a moment. Yes. Pacquiao just flicks with the right and then came thundering with the left down. He punched down like a good fighter should. Now both fighters are just Oh, standing. Pacquiao got caught round. They're not moving. Pacquiao. Going after Mendonez. Well, we've seen Pacquiao use his uh, jabs much more often in previous fights. Oh, good left and uh, I think the cheers are because there's a prospect of a couple of round girls. Round number two coming up in the fight that is scheduled for eight. Pacquiao in the white trunks, Mendonez in the Thai boxing pants. No, no, no. Fairly even first round, probably Mendoza, Mendonez had a slight edge. I would think so. I thought Mendonez uh, connected with more blows, volume of punches, going uh, to Mendonez's side. You see Mendonez stalking Pacquiao. Pacquiao trying to work behind that right jab. Yes, he's got a south yes. Pacquiao has got a good left, he's got a powerful left. He looks very, very young. He looks like a kid. Yes. Although well, he's 18 years old. 18, yes. Yeah. But much more experienced to see Mendonez. The way he moves, you can say that it's more experienced. Yes. But Pacquiao waiting, clicking the right and waiting to throw that big left of his. Good left again. Pacquiao on the rip, on the rope. Good left again. 
Patel dances out of trouble very nicely. Patel the crowd likes that. Yes. Patel is oh, beautiful left by Patel. He connected that time. Flash in the face of Mendon. Yes. Back up. There's another one. Patel seems to be winning. Oh, crowd. good combination. Oh, another good left by Patel, but Mendon is comes back. Patel calling with the left flash in the face. Left and right by Pacquiao, but he got hurt with the right. Yeah, Mendon is fighting back. Mendon is moving in. Yes. Mendon is caught him with the right and hurt him. Kirito. Yes. And that's why Pacquiao is leaning against the rope. Pacquiao was yeah. defensive. Yes. Mendon is caught him with the right that time and hurt him. Now, Akshan has been open, and I saw referee Sylvester Abainza raise up his uh, fist, meaning that a. Uh, oh! What a punch! Yes, just one go. punch flash on his face. There's blood on the nose of oh. Mendonis. Mendonis is in trouble. Go he could go down. Pacquiao fighting. Yes, Mendonis could go down again. Yes, Pacquiao. Pacquiao is punches. Mendonis forced to hold on. He's getting hammered. Mendonis yeah. doesn't know where he is. He's almost down again. Pacquiao being off. Oh, Mendonis is getting a bad beating. He's getting a bad beating. He's battered. He's bewildered. Pacquiao looking what? for the knockout blow. He cannot seem to find the knockout blow. Mendonis is hanging on. A lot of time left. He lost his mouthpiece. Another left. Mendonis is in a whole lot of trouble. But Pacquiao cannot. Pacquiao hit him with He's a bloody mess. He's looking for a coup de gras. And he cannot find yes, it. It's, oh, over. It. it's over. It's over. It's over. The fight. And Manny Pacquiao remains unbeaten. He has survived the first big test what a in fighter. his young professional career. What a fighter. What a young boy. This boy's got, he's got dynamite in that left. Mendonis almost out in his feet. He had to be helped back to his corner. He is a bloody mess. In his face. Manny Pacquiao. Look at him. Take a look at the cockiness of Manny Pacquiao. Beautiful left. A well-timed left. And uh, Mendonis oh. just did not know where that punch came from. You know, the fans here have seen some sensational fights. And this boy Pacquiao, really, he's cocky, but he's good. Well, you see the shirt. The shirt of Abainza is full of blood. And take a look at another angle of that assault by Manny Pacquiao. But oh. Mendonis was game. I mean, he stood on his feet for quite some time. Why? He took a yes. battery. He took a real battery. Well, I thought that Sylvester Abainza did the right thing. Yes. He did not wait for Mendonis to go back down. Mendonis just too strong and too brave-hearted to fall again. But he wisely called a stop to it as he saw that Mendonis was almost it. Oh, on his look feet. at that. Oh. Abainza is bloodied all over. I mean, his shirt is not his face. <laughs> This is slow-mo at its best. Our director, Abed Ramos, ace director. A lot of blows being thrown by uh, Manny Pacquiao. He was looking for the coup de gras and uh, never got to drop Mendonez once more. But coming to his rescue was referee Sylvester Abainza. Mendonez didn't know where he was. Oh, yes. End, yeah. Right from that first knockdown. And some hard blows being Whoa. thrown by uh, Manny Pacquiao. For a moment, I thought it, he might hang on in this yes, round. About 30 seconds left before but, the round uh, would end. But Pacquiao came in with beautifully timed punches. Well, also Mendonis just oh, didn't have the oh, legs any longer. That, that punch did it. That, that punch, punch did it. it. And that prompted Sylvester Abainza to call a halt.